In this video we present our work on learning reusable skills for quadruped and biped robots by imitating motion capture data. Our approach consists of two phases. After retargeting the motion capture trajectories to the robot, we first train a single goal conditioned policy in simulation that is able to imitate all clips. The imitation controller consists of a high and low level with a latent action space that is regularized towards a prior. The low-level controller can then be reused to efficiently learn downstream tasks while preserving the style of the reference data. We apply our approach to two different robot platforms. We use dog motion capture data to train an imitation controller for the animal quadruped, which truthfully replicates the style of the original data. By using techniques to improve SIM2 real transfer such as domain randomization and learned actuator models, we are also able to deploy this controller successfully on hardware, even for agile movements. We also retarget motion capture of humans and train an imitation controller for the OP3 humanoid robot. In the reuse phase, we replace the imitation policy with a new task-specific policy that is trained directly in the latent action space, while keeping the low level fixed. When exploring in the high-level latent action space, the robot maintains balance and show temporally extended behavior such as walking and turning. We reuse the skill module in a controllable walking task, where the robot is asked to match random target velocities. Because of the skill module, we don't need any other forms of regularization to learn a controller that is suitable to deploy on hardware, where a user can then control the robot via a joystick. The same approach also works for the OP3 robot, albeit with increased difficulty in SIM2 real transfer. The skill module is able to generalize to uneven terrain in simulation and small obstacles in reality despite no such features being present in the motion capture data. Finally, we reuse the skill modules for an object interaction task, where the robot is asked to dribble a ball to a shifting target location, as indicated by the red disc. This requires more precise control of the legs and results in the emergence of non-trivial behavior, such as strafing around the ball or using the hind legs if the robot is covering it. Despite the SIM2 real gap in the dynamics of the ball, the dribbling controller is still able to transfer well to the real animal robot. Thank you for watching.